Hello, everybody. Do you hear me? I hope you hear me. I am doing my FaceTime live tonight, Thursday. And tonight we're talking about what's driving women to the madness. So let me know. Hi, sweetheart. Do you hear me? Um, we're talking about the, the suicide that just took place where the woman in in texas i believe she killed herself and she killed her husband's mistress and i'd i'd like to find out from you guys why do you think someone would take their own life and someone else's life over another person what would make someone do that? Oh, thank you, Queenie. Hey, I had to go to another location in my house. Some reason the Wi-Fi is not working in the office. And I tell you, today has been a day from hell, but that, that's how the adversary works, right? But I want to talk about why do we get so obsessed with another person? where we feel we love them so much that we value them more than we do ourselves. Why do you think that happens? Um, I'm, I'm sitting here baffled that a professional woman killed herself after she killed the mistress of her husband's, allegedly mistress of her husband um um when i hear stories like that and and i've heard worse and i've done a little research and it happens all the time where a woman loves her husband so much in her mind that she wants to destroy him her and the lover Hi, everybody, Monica, Garland, and, and Shedrick. Thank you for joining tonight. And Terry and Dar 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 Darius, thank you. And Philip, um, and my nephew. How, what, what do you all think about that? I believe a woman that loves her partner, her husband, that much, where she would take her own life or kill him and the mistress, I believe there's some psychological problems going on. Because even if we love our husbands that much, our spouses that much, our partners that much, our live-in boyfriends or our boyfriends, there comes a time when we have to focus on, wait a minute, this man now is interested in someone else. He no longer wants me. Yeah, that's painful. That that destroys a, a woman's ego. It destroys her life in a lot of times. But why should it destroy her to the extent where she wants to take her life and and the man's life and the and the girlfriend's life? A lot of times these so-called mistresses they don't even know that the man is married. I wrote a book about it. A lot of times, and we're professional women, and we still can be tricked. We still can be uh, fooled. We still can be lied to and believe it. We can be gullible. So what would make us so hurt that we take our own life and, and forget the children. You are so deranged. You're so caught up in the act that you don't even have time to think about consequences of taking your life. A lot of these women leave children behind. One incident, a woman had the, her, the mother had her child in the car when she ran over her husband, backed over him in a Mercedes, like that mattered, but they, the, the, the topic, the title was woman ran murder by husband, 
murder by wife in a Mercedes. Like that made a difference. But she rode over her husband with her child in the car. So her father, her the daughter saw the mom killing the dad. What's going on with us? Uh, Darius says, that's what you call a love triangle. No, sweetheart. There is no such thing as love when hate is involved. Hate is involved when murder is involved. It's a psychological issue. It's a mental issue when you take someone's life. When you see two women fighting over a man in the mall, what's the first thing come to your mind? Because typically they're sitting there watching in all that these two smart, intelligent women have lost their minds over him. That's not love. That's not a love triangle. That's not love. When you have your daughter in the car with you and you're going to run over the husband. But there's a flip side to that. Men need to stop hurting women. If you done with one, tell her you done. Tell her you want to move on. Tell her you have found happiness somewhere else. Man up. And stop cheating on this woman, that woman, the one down the street, the neighbor uh, who just moved out of the, the, the area because uh, she wants to keep a relationship with you. So she's moved so you can go to her new neighborhood to be with her. Just tell the woman that you're living with. I think that's a lot better than making her believe that you love her. Yeah, William said that goes both ways. You always do that to me, William, and welcome, and thank you for coming back. The devil telling her to kill him. Absolutely, Kevin. Absolutely. William, I'm going to get back to yours. The devil is telling her to kill him. I believe that. And that's why we have to have God in our life. That's why we have to pray. That's why we have to, if you can't get on your knees because your knee is bad, sit on the end of your bed, sit on your toilet, wherever you can get some quiet time, pray to God so he can talk you to get you out of that mindset, to take the life of somebody because they don't want you anymore. I just can't conceive of me being in jail because somebody wants to be with somebody else. But the ultimate betrayal of a, of a man to a woman is cheating. When she thinks you're all she has and she's all you have and you got something else going on, but you can't tell her that. And you don't want to end it because she gives you so much. What's that, the 80%? She's missing the 20, so you go with the other woman for the 20% so that you think you can have 100, but you hurt, you're hurting her. You are hurting her when she finds out you got somebody else. William says bad communication. The devil is busy now. Kevin says the devil is busy nowadays, and, and that's why we have G we got Jesus. Everybody doesn't have Jesus, Kevin. That's why they can pull that trigger on their own head after they kill somebody else. They can't have Jesus in doing that. But I believe you can have Jesus and do that. I, I really do, Kevin, because you can mentally, you can lose it. It's called uh, temporarily insane. It's a flash where that's the first thing you think about. I'm getting a gun. I'm taking him out because I can't believe he did that to me. This is going to be the last woman he does that to. Men better be careful. I believe every year we need to have Fatal Attraction come back, resurface. That movie, you remember that movie 20 years ago? Was it 20 or longer? Lack of positive, oh, lack of positive male leadership. Yes, Dwayne, I agree with you. There is a lot of lack of male leadership. More men need to be coaches for these little kids to tell them what they see on TV is not the best thing for them. 
I left my ex for another girl because she did more. Yes. Yes. But William, that's another night. You, you, you leaving somebody for some sex. Lord, have mercy. That's, that's another night because I would like to talk to women to do what they need to do if they want to keep their man. Um, uh, but that's another night because sometimes I don't, I don't know about that one. But tonight we're talking about you being with a woman who adores you and you know she adores you and you you leave her. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. She because William got me all off. Think about what he just said. I, I've heard that one before, William, with one of my husbands. Um, we we have to be honest with each other. All that backbiting and all that sneaking and all that lying and all that texting, it's going to get some people hurt. This woman went to the woman's house. This is a recent story, I believe, last week. Killed the, the mistress, then put the gun on herself. They were both professional women messing with the same man. Then, if you remember... The woman who killed her husband back in 2002, where she ran over him, she didn't just run over, knock him down in the car. She backed up and went back over him to ensure he was dead. Come on. But what he did was ultimate betrayal. Honest can save lives. Yes, honesty on both sides can save lives. I, I agree wholeheartedly. Yes. But this woman who ran over her husband in the Mercedes, she was once a beauty queen and she got hefty. Okay. And her husband was eyeballing the woman who worked in the office, uh, office manager of some sort that he hired. He fell in love with her. He flaunted her in front of everybody in the office. So the woman who helped him Care, they both were doctors. She kept, she had that place laid out. She decorated it. She did everything for her husband. He came first. The children came first. He started messing with that woman in her face, in the office, and he flaunted her. He flaunted her everywhere. She was tall and skinny and beautiful, and the, the, the mother did everything. The wife did everything she could to keep her husband, to include uh, losing a little weight, getting some makeup, wearing some sexy clothes to get his attention back, but she had already lost it. He was in love with that other woman. And guess what? You talk about love or you talk about infatuation. You look at somebody, you like the outside. You want to get with them. You You think they're all this and all that. And you fall in love with the things that they say. So you tell everybody, I'm in love with her. She's the one. But what do you really know about her? That's infatuation. Because you're not really in love with her. you in love with what you see in her. But you don't know her well enough to get into. And, and some of these men marry these women within six months because they are infatuated with what they see. And as William says, you, you, you get involved in the sex and that's lust. That's not really a loving relationship. And just because the sex is good, that doesn't mean you sh you're in love. That doesn't mean you're in love. So you, you, you lose out on the woman that you have been with for all these years who helped you grow to be the person that you are today. And you glance to the right and you see this gorgeous woman in this mini skirt and you fall in love instantly. You're infatuated with what you see. You're not in love with this new woman. But as a result, you start dating that new woman Forget the, forget the one you got at home, but the one you got at home is fuming on the inside because she doesn't know what's going on. She knows something is different because you have changed. You went and bought some new underwear. You went and bought some suits. Wouldn't wear a suit to, with her to church, but you got new clothes. Next thing you know, I agree, William, you don't kill someone you love. 
So you left, William, that's another night. Lord have mercy. I can't keep up with you. Me and you're going to have to write a book together because you have as many stories as I have, which means that explains why you are so full of wisdom. That's, that's why I am too. So we, we got to hook up sometime. Um, but y'all, we have to, we have to be more considerate of the people that have been with us through the drama, through the pain, because they've been there for you. You can't just leave them and be with somebody new. You don't know what's going to go on within that woman's head. She's raised your kids. She's taken your, your children in that you had before you married her. And now you want to be with somebody new. You can't do that. These women are killing people. They are deranged from love because they have gotten obsessed with you because that's all they knew. They put all their eggs in you, all their eggs in one basket, and then you're not interested in them anymore. And overnight, you treat them differently. You never talk to them. Somebody on here said about communication. Yes, you have to communicate with people. You have to let them know what's on your mind. If they're not doing something that you want them to do, let them know that. Don't, please don't. Let me tell you some more stories. Um, another one, driving an Escalade in 2013, she, she just rode him off the road. Just, 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 just pushed him off the, off the, off the freeway. Deranged. Um, think about it. You cause rage. You cause anger, jealousy, fear, greed. Do y'all watch Fatal Attraction? Um, there's a series out. Do you watch Snapped? They snap. It is not a love goes out the window, then you're leaving them comes in the window. And that's what they're reacting to. And they snap. They take your life. They take your girlfriend's life. So it's not, hey, Terry, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. If somebody decides they don't want you anymore, Pray about it and get over it. Please pray about it and get over it. And I know it's difficult. I know it's difficult, but pray on it and get over it. You don't want to end up in jail. You don't want to end up uh, in jail for something, tearing up his car, breaking out his windows. You, you don't need that in your life. When they're done with you, be done with them. It's okay. That means that door closed, another one will open for you. You don't have to be with anybody who has interest in somebody else. You can't force anybody to love you. You can't force anyone to love you. Um, successful women do lose their mind. So don't be thinking that you got somebody who has a good job, who's gone to school, done everything the right way, and you play on her mentally, don't think she won't snap on you because she has a brain. A brain can snap. A brain can over, be overloaded with so much pain, and you never know what they went through before they knew you. And then you're going to add some more drama to that? Come on now. Don't do that to yourself. Stop playing with women's minds and women's emotions. If you're done, say you're done. Because when a woman is mad, she loses all sense of who she is, where she is, her children, her family her livelihood, 
her focus is on, I cannot believe this man has done this to me. And I have to get even with him because of what he did to me. You can't, you can't do that. You can't do that. Every person deserves a dynamic life. This is what Christine Ar 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 Arlo has says, Ari Lowe, sorry. Um, every person deserves a dynamic life. And just because you're in a partnership, it means nothing if you're not in a relationship with a partnership. You have to have both. You have to have both. You have to be there spiritually for one another. You have to love each other, one another. But if you are not interested in the person that you are with, leave her alone. Just leave her alone. Stop playing with people's emotions because you don't know who's getting ready to buy a gun and you don't know who's getting ready to use that gun and you don't want to be on the other end of that barrel when it all falls apart because let me tell you what the mistress do they want you so bad they contact your spouse they contact your partner and they let them know that they're with them if they're not with you and it doesn't always turn into a little fight where you get to look like Mr. King and you stand there with your chest all poked out. It doesn't always work in your favor because you could get killed too. So just leave people alone if you're not interested in them. Stop playing the games. Many of us are, what, 35 45, 55, 65, you still playing games? Really? With people's emotions? Really? Really? You're not, if you're not 20 years old anymore, you shouldn't play with people's emotions. People are overloaded with pain, anguish, hurt, betrayal. They share this with you. And you go, you, you like sweep it under the rug and keep doing it. Why? Why do you do that? Um, think about this. Obsessive love, jealousy, being delusional, being with a woman who says she wants to marry you and you just met her three weeks ago, already claiming your kids by baby's mom. Ma, okay? You just met her and she's already pulled you into her circle. She's already brought you home to her house. She's already taken you upstairs to her room. No, be, 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 be very careful about women who are rushing a relationship with you. Because if they're that delusional, imagine how they'll be if they're delusional that you love them when you really don't love them. That could be very, very scary. Hello, Rick. Hello, Ronnie. That could be very, very scary. So you need to be careful about these type of women as well. See, I'm not always on the woman's side either. So so I'm 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 in the middle here. I'm thinking about you too. Um aggressive, impulsive, jealous. Who you go to a party and a woman speaks to you. You just met the woman 4 weeks ago and she's demanding to know who that woman was that touched you on your elbow and said your name. What relationship do you have with her? Why does she know your name? Who, where do you know her from? She, she's not privy to that information if she just met you. But if she's already there in your business, you better bet you can't leave that relationship. She will hound you, hound, hound you down, hunt you down, be all over you until you get hurt. And you knew that going in, but you liked the look, you liked the flavor, 
you liked how she looked, how she acted, the sex was good. So you're going to keep her around. But if she's already doing that kind of, that having those type of uh, uh, behaviors in, in three to four weeks of meeting her, you better be careful. Um, persistent. All over you. Needy. Uh, I thought you said you were going to call me at 12. It's, it's already two o'clock and I haven't heard from you. You better let that woman go because she's already getting into your lane and she she's going to take it further. And you better not let her know you got somebody else. Oh, I don't, I would like to know why men need so many. What, what I understand this one don't do this. That one doesn't do this, but have you ever thought about one of them might be so sick mentally that you're playing with fire? And I always wanted to know why men needed so many. Because you never know what, who you're hurting, who you're playing with when you're playing the game. And you never know how far that game will gonna, is going to go. And you never know how that game can boomerang on you as well that's the other side of that so be careful about those ladies because they're in a fantasy world and you got to be careful about that women are killing their spouses and they're killing the mistresses and now i see they're killing themselves so i just want you all to be careful about that Stop playing with women. Um, this is the last one I want to share with you. A woman hired her son to kill her make-believe boyfriend. She was obsessed with him. They call it passionate infatuation. This boyfriend had other women um but she wanted him to herself she didn't want to share him with anybody she fell in love with him in her mindset and she hired her son y'all so she's in jail and her own son is in jail for helping her mom kill this man stop playing with women y'all Stop playing with women. And I hope you got something out of this tonight. Um, William, I would love to have a talk with you and we do a, a video. And when I start the radio show, I would like to do something with you. Um, we got to be careful. I understand you like the passion, the, the, the variety. Uh, the flavor, the, there's a flavor today, there's vanilla today, there's chocolate tomorrow. This one does this, this one does that. I got that. But you all always forget these beautiful bodies, these beautiful women have a brain. And you don't know what they went through as children. You don't know what they went through before you knew them. You don't know their story. And you don't know how far they're this close to losing it. Because women are very poised. They got to be poised at work. They got to be poised at the PTA meetings. They got to be poised when they're out with their children, when they're, when they're everywhere with their girlfriends. You don't know what's going on in their minds. So I'm pleading with you tonight to be careful. And ladies, if a man has decided they no longer want to be with you or they've done something drastically to prove to you they don't want you anymore, walk. Hold your head up high. Be with people or call me. I'll help you out of it. But you don't deserve that. You don't deserve to be sitting around in somebody's house. They treat you like crap because they're done with you. 
and you're sitting there thinking any day now they'll love me again no they won't the longer you stay the longer they will treat you wrong because they see you're still there action speaks louder than words don't ever think someone can love you because they said they love you action speaks louder than words don't lose your mind taking somebody's life because they don't want you anymore there's somebody out there that does want you but you have to go through that closed door and close it shut don't look back pray about it and when your mind is healed god will bring you who he wants you to have but if you're in a relationship that's not working this is for the ladies if you're in a relationship that's not working that means it's not for you anytime you have to force something force it oh it's not working today oh it was a little bit better yesterday but oh it's still a mess oh this two weeks later and we're still arguing about the same thing if it's ongoing 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 it's not meant for you relationships should be peaceful as someone said tonight communicating communicating if you are if you can't do that in the relationship you're in you need to get out of it you need to get out of it because it's not for you and it's okay because you're beautiful god didn't make no ugly babies you can start over again so what if you wasted three four five six seven eight nine ten years you're still living so god still has something in plans for you it's okay to start over it's okay to not have a man in your life if he's abusive it's okay you don't need to be abused come on don't you love yourself so i'm not going to go all night long tonight like we did last week um this is emotional for me because this beautiful woman took her life forget looks it's just the fact that she went to school she was very smart um professional but she was so much in rage that she killed this woman that she didn't know messing around with her husband and then she put the gun on herself and this just happened late april of 2018 and it, and I couldn't sleep that night. I get real passionate about this stuff because it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. She should have left that man alone. Let him go on with the woman with the 20%. Let him go on with her. And if she was caught, if she focused on her career and what she needed to do in her life, so what if she gave the man 30 years? He didn't want to give her 10 more. He didn't want to give her one more let it be done so she killed herself and the mistress hoping that the man will be miserable guess what he's gonna do find another woman eventually after he gets over the shock of the mess he created he's gonna find another woman and there's gonna be many women that want to be with him even knowing this story about his life why why do we do that women we need to love ourselves we need to love ourselves. We need to take better care of ourselves. If a man is done with us, see ya. What's that song? To the left, to the left. Mm -hmm. Yes, be gone, brother. Be gone. Let it go, ladies. Don't take your life. Let them pack their bags up and say, see ya let them go on with the mistress who cares if she's 20 years younger let him have that headache he may even want to come back after he realized oh wow i didn't sign up for this but so be it don't take your life don't take his life they're not worth that please this is this is giving me a headache tonight William says we need to have a closer relationship with God. Thou shall not kill for no reason. 
Absolutely. William, you're absolutely correct. We should not kill because we're not supposed to kill. This woman has double murder on her hands because she killed herself and she killed somebody else over her husband who is no longer interested in her. You got women running over their man. But I can imagine when I watched that movie on Lifetime a few years ago, the one that the woman that uh, ran over her husband in the Mercedes, she followed him to a hotel. The, the woman, the mistress was coming out of the hotel with the man and he was kissing all on her. And I don't know if that was really what happened, but you know how Lifetime dramatizes. And she just backed over the man with the little girl in the car. And so the little girl witnessed it. Imagine though, put yourself in her place. And men, hear me out. Because I think if you guys did more role play, you would be a little more sensitive to women. So check this out. Um, think about this. They grew up together, loving each other, married, build a successful business. I believe they're millionaires, doctors and all that good stuff, um, living the life. So why would the woman be watching over her back when they have been a partnership in a relationship for over 25, 30 years? So she thinks he's in love with her like she's in love with him. Okay. All of a sudden, they hired his fancy, sexy, who knows what she's doing. She comes in the office with this uh, sexy outfit on, and he hires her on the spot as an office manager. Everybody in the office sees how he's treating this woman. The wife is so busy helping him build the business till she, she's so locked into her love for him that she forgets he's a man. So one day he just changed. He got to go back to the office. He got to do this. He got to do that. Oh, no, you stay here. I got this. Next thing you know, he's preoccupied. She still doesn't see it. She's so involved with her family and him. She still doesn't see it. Next thing you know, she does see it because everybody in the office is telling her about it. They work together too, mind you. So. She's lost her mind. She's already on the chubby side because all she's been doing is working and eating. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to slip eating in. Working and keeping a business up. So she has been probably eating a little more and forgot about her weight. She was a beauty queen back in the day. So all of a sudden things change. And she realizes somebody's got her husband's attention after 30 something years. Y'all, she lost it. She lost it. The devil's always busy. Yes, that's so hard in a family. You don't think that your man is going to be interested in anybody else because you all are like glue, white on rice. You are, you are everything to each other. Well, she never thought her husband would do that. So she lost it mentally. She lost her mind. They were flaunting the relationship. Everybody in the office knew. Now the office manager is uh, flirting with the, the husband. Um, they're doing this in front of her. And she's still going to work, smiling. Still going to work. Hey, y'all. How's everybody? Well, it took her mind. It took her mind. She lost it, y'all. She couldn't fathom losing her husband to this, 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 this whoremonger who didn't even have a courtesy to say, I can't do this. That man is married. No, she said, Lord, he's a doctor. I got to get with him. This, this man can take care of me. No focus on, no, no morals. That, no morals at all. Because she's flaunting the relationship. 
And this lady was of class, so she tried her best to maintain her ex her 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 um I can't think of the word maintain her. Where's my cousin when I need her? Maintain her ah uh, her posture. That doesn't that's not the word composure. Maintain her composure, and she tried to the best of her ability, but she snapped. She snapped. Now she's in jail. I think she has like 30 years. She couldn't even plead emotional uh, of, of temporary insanity. It didn't work. They, they still gave her jail time. So my point is, men, how would you like it if you and your wife had a, 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 a practice together? Say both of you are lawyers. And and she hired the young lawyer with the big muscles to be you guys paralegal because he ain't got his license yet. And he got the big muscles and he looking good and he's always flirting with your wife. Next thing you know, your wife's falling in love with him. Infatuation. She's falling in love with him and they're together. And she's flaunting it because she didn't went buck wild because they didn't had sex in front of you as the husband. How would you feel? William says, don't be nobody. You love it. They don't love you or keep hurting you. That's right. But William, wait, you doing it again, William. How would you feel, William, if you you and your wife had a partner a, a partnership a law firm and your wife is now messing around with the help in the law firm big muscle dude that uh you guys just hired and they're flaunting it in your face how would you how would you like that happening to you what i wish men would do when they're out there think about their wives Think about their mothers. Think about their daughters. Would you want a daughter doing that to you? I'm sorry. Would you want a man doing that to your precious daughter? You would have a fit. So think about the woman as somebody's daughter. Think about the woman as somebody's uh, mother, your child's mother. Why do you all do that? You you would you would kill a man for hurting your little girl, even if she's 30. So why do you think it's okay for you to do it to a woman? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I got all these new people coming on. Y'all so late. Hello, James Tyrobi. Nice name. James C. Kennedy. Thank you so much for joining tonight. Tonight we talked about what's driving women to the madness where you guys are cheating messing around with their heads and they lose it and they kill the girlfriend and sometimes themselves and sometimes you my point tonight is treat people the way that you want to be treated stop the cheating be with the one you want to be with just think if we all did that. Be with the one we want to be with and tell the one we don't want to be with it's not working. And let them and help them and say it in a courteous manner so they won't go around killing everybody or having the worst, the hardened heart where they have no forgiveness and they hate you and hate the world because you kicked them to the curb. Kick me to the curb. Don't cheat on me. Just kick me to the curb. Don't cheat on me. Because like I said, you don't know how far, how much a woman has gone through in her life. You don't know her whole story. She's only told you the part that she wants you to hear. So if she's been abused, neglected, and all that that goes with it, and then she meets you and you're, you're taking advantage of her, Come on, don't do that because you don't know if this is it. You don't know if this is her breaking point. And we sh you all should be loving us, not hurting us. You all should be loving us more than anybody because women go through as much at work 
as you men go through at work, especially women of color, and to come home and want to be passionate with your, your spouse, your partner, uh, the love of your life, and he's not interested in you tonight because he, he's texting somebody else. Come on, y'all. Man up and be, be, be what we need you to be so that we can be a happy couple and we can, we can, we can soar to get everything in life that we want to get. But karma is a B. You get back what you give. And sometimes it doesn't affect you. It affects your offspring. That's biblical. So if you're out there hurting women 24-7, not giving a crap, and you wonder why your daughter can't get it together in her relationship, think about generational curses. What? Why is that happening to her? What about what you're doing today? What you're doing today can affect your daughter tomorrow. So treat women with respect, please. If you don't do nothing else tonight, think about what I said. As far as you don't know whether or not one day you're going to wake up to a barrel pointing down in your face. Because a lot of women have had it up to here. And don't listen to me. Google uh, women losing it over their spouse cheating and what they did as an outcome of that. And ladies who are listening, leave these men alone if they're not interested in you. Just leave them alone. This is the best time of our lives. And if a man is telling you I'm not interested or showing you he's not interested, ask, ask I like that name. Uh, God bless your work, the kingdom of God. Thank you so much. Uh, many men out there don't care about hurting women. William, I know that's why I'm here. I know that. I love you. You just you just put it out there. Um, yes, they don't care, but I'm trying to get them to care. That's why I'm online, William. That's why I'm doing FaceTime Live. And I'm doing a lot more, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, WBGR starting in late June about relationships and um, and uh, please like my page. I am still a rose. I am building that page and uh, my book. I am still a rose is coming out in about probably another month. Um, and right now the little girl inside is is selling. Um, that's my other book. And um, y'all, let's let's love on each other and stop disrespecting women when you when you think about disrespecting a woman think about your daughter if you don't have a daughter think about your mom if you don't have a mom god bless you think about your sister if you don't have a sister think about the woman in the office that you love as a sister or the woman that you work with don't necessarily have to be in office, but stop hurting women. They're, 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 the pain is, is just rising because they keep getting in relationships that don't go anywhere because they're not, the man's not really interested in them and they find out too late. Come on, y'all. Let's love on each other. Life is so short. Life is so short and we need to stop playing the game. For me, it used to be a game. Yes, it used to be a game. I got it. But at some point, don't you think we need to stop playing the game? And men, women play the game too. And a lot of times you can't play the gamer. So stop playing the game. Stop playing the game. At some point, you got to think about being sincere with somebody or don't be with nobody. How about that? That's a good quote. I might put that in, in something I do. You know, don't play so much because you're hurting women and you don't know who's got the gun. You don't know who's got the gun and you don't know who's going to use the gun. You don't know who's going to use the gun. 
Uh, just see how many I can have. I got you, William. I got you. I understand that. I got you. And that is what, and I appreciate that because that's what, how a lot of men think. Oh, if I get this one, oh, and I like her too. Oh, we, and look at that one down there. I don't know how y'all keep up with all these women. I don't know. Well, how can you date five women? Do you have sex with all five? Do you go out with them? How do, can you afford to, do you make them pay every time y'all go to the movies, go out to dinner? How do you work that? But to me, it's not a skill. It's an insecurity. It's an insecurity on your part and you're hurting so many people. And a lot of you have children with these women that you've just to totally moved on to somebody else. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how some of you sleep at night, but I wish and I pray for all of you and I pray that you some you at least start thinking about, wow, before you t take that action, think about your daughter and maybe you won't do it the next time and be sincere be sincere and love, love, truly love. And I don't mean love somebody you just meet. It takes years to love someone because you got to know what you like about them and what you don't like about them. And I talk about that in The Little Girl Inside. Um, you can't love somebody when you just meet them. You're only infatuated with what you see and what they say out of their mouths. But it takes a while to love someone because when you love them, you, you accept the good, the bad, and the ugly. And we all have it. We all have each one of those characteristics because God didn't make any of us perfect. And that's why we're supposed to look to him who's perfect to help us with our imperfections. But we're not here to screw with women's heads emotionally. We're here to love them. They should be our queens. They should be the best thing that's ever happened to us. Um, the, the young prince is getting ready to marry this woman who's been divorced. The way he looks at her, Lord have mercy, that, that young lady is blessed for life. And she's a divorcee. And she's part black. But he loves her. And they dated, and they dated, and they dated, and they dated. And I'm sure by now they know the good about each other and the ugly about each other. And they have accepted those differences without trying to change those, those differences. They have accepted it. And that's what we should all be focusing on, not hurting each other, not seeing how many women you can lay up with and, 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 and manipulate them. Enough is enough. You ought to be shaming yourselves because you don't know when, what day you're going to wake up and she's going to have a barrel down your face. And it's going to be too late then. It's going to be too late. I'm telling you. So. I'm closing tonight. I want to say thank you. Thank you so much, William. Uh, Debbie, I appreciate you. Frank, uh, Ernest, Leroy, all my new friends. I really appreciate you guys for uh, call, uh, being on live tonight with me. I'm on every Thursday um, at 8, usually, when I can set up everything. Tonight, I had some issues. Um, please like my page on I Am Still a Rose. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. And um, and you can always go to my website, TanyaBarbie.com or IamStillaRose.com. And I'm a writer. I'm a, uh, I'm, I'm a, I, I do, I'm an inspirational speaker. Uh, I'm, I'm acting now, and my focus in life is to help empower women to get out of bad situations. And I need my brothers to help me do that. I can't do it by myself. I need you to share with them what you used to do 
and what you're not doing anymore. And I need us to be unified. If I don't do anything else in this life, I want women to not be abused anymore, not go through the emotional turmoil anymore, to stand up for what is right and to love themselves. That is my dream for women, period. Um, and that's because of personal things I went through years ago. So I love you. Thank you very much. Look me up on IamStillARose.com. And um, please like my uh, Facebook page, I Am Still a Rose. And I've, I'm, a, I'm really loving all these new friends. Keep in mind, I'm not looking for a boyfriend. I'm not looking for a girlfriend. I just want to help us get beyond this pain and live our lives to the fullest. Because if we're still here on this earth, we are here for a purpose, not to hurt each other, but to love one another and respect one another and do right by each other. And that's so simple, but it's so hard. Uh, William, a man lose respects when they do that. Yes. And it's time for us to gain the respect that you all deserve and vice versa. That's why I say it's worth me coming on an hour a night and I'm a project manager. Y'all, I'm so busy at work. It don't make sense. And I'm raising a 12 year old who's an athletic uh, kid all over and everything. Uh, a student. And I'm just so and I'm a grandmom, too. And um, I'm the of a divorcee. But if you read my book, you'll know my, my story. Um, and my next book is coming out. And it's a sequel to that story. But, but y'all, we got to get it together. I don't want nobody killing y'all because they've had it up to here. Treat women with respect. Think of them as your daughter so that you won't, you know you won't, wouldn't want a man doing that to your daughter. Um, all right, y'all. Uh, and it starts, it starts where, William? A man lose respect. Okay, tell them to stop uh, giving them self up. Oh, yes. All right, William, I, I appreciate that. Women, please take your time when you meet a man. They done had so much sex. Your sex ain't going to make much of a difference than all the other sex they had. I don't care if you build like uh, the, the, the girl with the big butt. I can't think of her name. Where are my children at? None of them are here. Um, I can't. Nicki Minaj. I don't care if you built like her. That ain't going to make them love you. That is not going to make them love you because you can whip it, whip it real good. It's not going to make them love you. So take your time. Uh, Steve Harvey says in his book, uh, Think Like a Man, um, um, he says in his book, don't do that. Get to know the man first. Uh, three months, 90 days. Can you hold out 90 days? You might not even like them after on the 90th day. And you done already gave it up six, seven, eight times. Come on. Thank you, William, for that. Men don't want you after that. Them days where they, they married you after uh, they got pregnant with you because y'all had sex the first time and then you had, and then the parents made y'all get married, them days is over. They will lay their seed in you and 10 other women and not marry none of y'all. Stop doing that. Love yourselves first. That's another night too, William, because it ain't going to help. It ain't going to make them crazy over you because most women are experienced, okay? Let's just put it out there. And you're not going to blind them to the extent where you're the only one they see. So don't even waste your time with that. And if they're hinting with you, they want it today, and you just met them yesterday at the club, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Thank you, William, for that. Communicate, you guys. Love on each other, please. Don't, don't be on the sidebar with me. Hey, sexy. You don't know I'm sexy. That's disrespectful to me. Um, you don't know how I am. 
So why would you call me sexy? So men, respect women. And by all means, please respect me because I'll always respect you. Um, thank you for tonight. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time. William, we're going to have to do a talk thing. So let's talk on the side. Um, thank you so much. I am still a rose no matter what I've been through. And ladies, I'm here to tell you, you are too. Take care, you guys. Have a wonderful night. And remember to treat women with respect, please. We don't want no barrels down your neck are in your face or between your eyeballs because they've had enough. Good night.